Okay, so we've removed the packings from the end of the piston stem. There's another set of packings we need. So remember what I said about this piston, you have to guard it from any accidental damage. So what I suggest you do is wrap it up and put it out of the way. The packings that are in the top of this. Now this is what I was talking about, a castellated nut. It's actually a well, and inside the well is, the well holds the oil. So the separating oil sits in this well. That's what that does and lubricates these top packers. So they're actually wetted all the time. Now here's the retainer, and inside here, of course, is the remainder of your packings like so. So what you do is, as you remove the packings, you inspect them for wear or anything that's unforeseen, such as a crack in the packings or a split in the packings, because if you find that there's a big gouge in these packings, you'll find that normally the sacrificial aspect of damage to those packings is sustained within the piston, uh, within the piston wall itself. So just make sure that if you find something untoward there, the remnants of it will be here somewhere. So in this case, we've already inspected the piston. We know that it's in good repair. So all we need to do is get the rest of these packings out. So there's the retainer. There's the packings. Now you can see they've had paint up through them. And also too, they will have uh, sustained a bit of wear. Now, with these Chevron seals, if they've had heat in them, what you'll find is they've umbrellaed on the inside and folded over. So these pumps will only sustain 20 seconds maximum, 20 seconds maximum of free pump. What I mean by free pump is there's no fluid in this chamber and the, and the piston is just running up and down through this and getting these hot. So that 20 seconds, it's all over. You know that you have to change the, the packings. So you've compromised the integral strength of the packing and its ability to be able to seal onto the piston by getting it hot. So they, they won't sustain heat of any consequence. So if you run the pump dry for any longer than 20 seconds, I can guarantee you that you've compromised these packings and they'll need to be replaced. So remember what I said about the old packings? Put them to one side so that you don't get them mixed up with the new ones. So you must put them to one side so that you don't get them mixed up. Now, what have we got here? What's left? We've got this here is a keeper for the castellated nut and the oil well. So do I need to take that out? Do I need to pull this out? If you have trouble getting the packings out of there, nine times out of 10, you'll have to remove it. But the problem is too, that this has a seat in it. The seat is for that retaining ring to sit on. So behind that, there's an accumulation of dried materials that need to be cleaned up. So basically what you'll need to do is remove this. Now, nine times out of 10, this is quite tight. So make sure that when you use a C-section spanner that you've got good purchase on it. So before I try and do that, what's in the way? Well, the filter stem is in the way, so I need to remove that. So because you've loosened it previously, you'll take the keeper, the filter, the stem, put them out of the way. Now you need to undo this. So with this area free, now I can utilize the bigger spanner, C-section spanner, and get a good purchase and have it towards the base so it won't slip off and hurt me. So you need to crack that. So by pushing on it with an immense amount of torque, you still won't undo it. So you need to crack it so that it's cracked off the thread where there's an accumulation of paint in behind it. So what you'll need to do is appropriate yourself so that you can keep yourself free of any harm. And what I suggest you do is you can use a pipe on this, a length of pipe, which will help it, or just shock it to start the thread. Undone, like so. And away you go. Now this has to come out because you need to clean in behind it. So how far do we go for a repair? When you put the, a new set of packings in, it's imperative that you clean everything because any remnants you might disturb by loosening all this stuff, contamination such as this 
could undermine the new package that you put in. So it's imperative that you clean all this and make sure that it's all lubricated prior to reinstallation. Now, you'll see in here, there's remnants of old paint. So you'll have to make sure that you wash all this out. The different seals are identified as well by color. So as far as your instructional leaflet is concerned, all of these are identified in the reinstallation and repair guide. So if we take this out and clean all this, there's one other. Now, if I'm on site, the chances of me getting this out of here, out of this cast housing, are quite remote because it's very tight. The only time I'll need to remove that is if there's scouring in the cylinder. So there's two aspects to this is, does this have to come out? From a common sense perspective and a repair in an appropriate manner, yes it does and I'll show you why. So to remove this you'll need quite a substantial pair of stilsons or a large shifter to be able to get on to the castellation of this particular cylinder. Now in behind this cylinder there's another o-ring on the top of the cylinder and it's quite a substantial o-ring and it's easy to identify in the packing kit which one it is because it's got a thick wall. So that thick wall o-ring goes at the top of the cylinder. So the problem is that there's a cavity in the top of this cylinder wall and paint accumulates around the top of the cavity on the taper and down into the thread. So sometimes they're quite difficult to get undone. So how do we get this undone? I don't have a vice in sight, I don't know what to do. What you can do is, you can attempt to undo it and as you can see it's quite tight. So what I suggest you do is find yourself a pallet or something that will hold this for you so that you can put your foot on top of it and keep yourself safe without hurting yourself by undoing it.